Hey guys, this is Hell Hades free to play, and I'm back for a shard pool video. We've got the boosted summons going on right now. This is not normally an event that I would summon for, okay? We've got a summon rush going on, we've got a boosted summons. I would normally avoid this like the plague the 10 times, but on the free to play, I'm going for Rorik, which means that I need to get points from summon rush. Um, I actually only need to get to, well, I'd love to get the 3,500, but I just don't have enough shards. I've got a couple of sacreds, which is a thousand points. I've got 11 ancients, which is about another 1200 odd points. Um, and I've got, I think I've got about 20 ancients. 25 ancients was another 500 points. So I've got pretty much 2,700 or so points in the bag. I don't have the means to get another 800 points worth to get these extra 10 fragments, which is a real shame actually, because they that would be big. You know, to get an extra 10 here would be massive for me. But I need to um, rein it in after 1750. And then what I'm going to do is um, try and get some points on the champion chase, which will be next week. So that's the way we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to pull my two sacreds. I'm going to do a 10 pull on ancients. And then we're going to fill in the gaps on the voids. Uh, in terms of the boosted summon champs that are coming through right now, the reason why I'm doing it in that way is because Bogoff or Bure and Geary are the two that I really want. People that are going to help me with Bommel. I did a free-to-play update video yesterday, day 80. Bommel level 50 is really tough, and I don't have a support unit in play, which is kind of really helping me out. So Vogoff would be massive, and Vogoff would be massive anywhere in the game. Uh, Bure and Geary also would be cool anywhere in the game, but particularly good on Bommel. Um, the legendaries and stuff, honestly, I couldn't care less. I don't have any legendary books. They're really hard to get. I do get a reasonable supply of epic books. So I feel like one of those epics, ideally I'd love Vodoff, honestly. Vodoff would be massive. Um, it's also worth saying I've been doing the champion training event, um, leveling up food and what have you. And prep, maybe I've just gone another level. Yeah, so I'm getting close to the five uh, required um, fragments here. And I've got enough food between uh, two that I leveled up one chicken and then i think i've got two sitting in the vault that are leveled yeah so i've got my five um chickens ready for my next six star so that's going to be my seventh six star on day 81. um up until now farakin's been the one that i was going to go for but honestly if i pull a vodoff vodoff would take his place i don't think i've really got anyone else who's going to come in and particularly help me with stage 50 of um, maybe this dude down here, but I, I don't think he's really good enough. He's definitely not a Vodoff. So I don't have anyone else who's as strong to help me with stage 50 of Bommel. Um, and if I don't get someone who's going to help me with stage 50 of Bommel, then Arakin's going to come into my clan boss team and kind of free up um, some other champions to come out of my clan boss team. So that's what I'm thinking there. Arakin will just boost my clan boss damage, making it an easy two key nightmare and help me start to move on towards ultra nightmare. So, uh, before we get into the Sharple video, we're going to run today's sponsor. So, this video is sponsored by Gemstone Legends, a match free puzzle game, free to play friendly. Um, this game is actually really challenging and really fun to play. So, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Download the game. It's going to be linked in my description below and in my pinned comment. Uh, Gemstone Legends are going to give us a big fat pack for downloading this game, worth $50. And within that pack is a new epic hero, Moralia, which you're going to get as part of your um, login bonus as long as you complete the tutorial using my link. Now let me show you how far I've progressed through this game. We've got a campaign mode, very similar to Raid, three different difficulties. One of them's even called Hell. Was it made for me? Um, we have got Rifts, which kind of play alongside the campaign mode. And when you go in and complete some of the, the different boss battles like the Phoenix here, uh, you can actually win some summoning scrolls. Let's, uh, let's, let's try this one out. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, we've actually got gold. we got Santa Claus. we got a Sir Nick. we got a Sir Nick in Gemstone Legends. Let's do this. So if you want to join the battle and download Gemstone Legends, there's a QR code. It's been up the whole time. You can use that or you can use the, the link in my description or my pinned comments. Um, come and join me. It's a really fun game. And don't forget, you will get a free starter pack worth $50 if you complete the tutorial along with that epic champion, Moralia. So look, come and join me. You know the nickname, Hell Hades. Find me in game and we can do some of this stuff together. Okay then, let's do this. I'm going to do one by ones. So we're going to go with, I think, 
10 ancients. Then I'm going to pop a sacred and a couple of voids. And we're just going to see where we get to. Um, come on, Vodoff. Come on, Vodoff. That's what we're after. Any rares that are kind of part of the uh, Raz Infusion would be good too. I'll quickly show you, actually. The Raz Infusion, I'm doing well. So I only need one, two, three, four. One of which being Nullhorn. I'd love a second Nullhorn after that, to be honest. But four more rares to, to get my Raz in. So we're kind of on, on track for Razin pretty well. Um, there's no <laughs> There's one of them. <laughs> awesome. No horn's an awesome rare anyway. Like I would love a second copy just so I can use him. Um, come on. Come on. Hellfang. I'd love to see some purple. There we go. Vodoff, Vodoff. Ah, Jotun. Jotun, probably not going to be used much, to be honest. Not bad for the, this rotation Scarab boss. Um, for that uh, decrease enemy max HP. Perforator. Come on, Vodoff. Where are you? Farmable rare. Executioner. Just kind of like bog standard, really. Pretty average. Another rare. Master Butcher actually is. So this is one of the champions which um, one of Cold Brew's community kind of reached out and said, this guy could be good for um, Bommel. And he is. Revives a random ally with full HP when this champion's killed. That's one passive. The other passive, when attacked, heals all allies equal to the amount of damage taken. So when those bombs... I, I think when the bombs explode, maybe he, he does a massive heal from this. And he's also got a chance to pop someone back up. Okay, might be useful for my Bommel. I don't think I would 6-star him. I think I'd just run him as a 50. Come on, what else we got? Chaplain. Move along, Chaplain. Terrible. Another rare. Lots of rares. Great. Solaris. Whew, come on. Another rare. Conqueror. Oh, man. Not getting too much going on here. I think we're going to have to switch to the old sacreds. Damn. This is a bad set. Ah, uh, Hell Freak. Could be interesting, though. Swap HP with an enemy. I don't know if that works on the bombs or not. Try that. Um, right, Sacred. Come on. It's an epic. It is a Flesh Terror. Ah, I thought you might be part of the fusion for a minute. Um, flesh Terror. Bang average. Come on. Another epic. It is Zargala. Zargala's a great champion, but honestly, for my account, I've got Deacon. She's kind of like another Deacon. Um, slightly higher damage kind of output, but we'd be good for my Orcs. Let's just see where I am against this Summon Rush. I want to over full shards. So I need another, what am I at? 1270. I need another 500 points. That's going to be um, five voids. Obviously, I can't get Vodoff out of voids. Uh, I could still get a Cold Heart, which would be awesome. Hollow, no thanks. Mr. Emo, no thanks. Come on. Come on. Surely Master Butcher cannot be the best one I get. Painsmith, actually like a smacking dude. Like, smacks people all around. Um, high damage, but um, yeah, some people use him in like Arena and stuff for the block revive. Daywalker, that's not who we're looking for. You know the trouble, when you do these type of shard pulls, Mr. Fanatic, you really want to pull more because you just want to find a better champion. I think it's my last one. Go on, purple. Oh, man. Another one of these fellas. Another one of these fellas. I think I've got the points in the bag. Just check it. Yeah. There you go. Free-to-play continues to rock on as a free-to-play. I think the best one I just got there was Master Butcher. I just got to work out what he actually does that helps me. So it looks like Farakin is going to be my next six star, guys. Unless you tell me otherwise, comment below who should be my next six star on the free to play if it's not Farakin. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.